Hello everybody, welcome back to Project Hospital. So, you find me here in the hospital in the middle of the night, it's early morning. So, yesterday we managed to treat all of our patients, which was great. So we managed to treat 44 patients. That meant that we reached 80% prestige in our emergency department, which is great. Which meant that we completed this objective, the middle one here which then gave us $50,000 and it gives us a new objective of purchase free ambulances. So our original ambulance has just gone out to collect a patient. So let's wait for him to come back and then we'll supervise this person's care. So we have a doctor coming in. So we have Brooke Lopez. He has a penetrating trauma of his head. So he needs um, a bandage uh, anti-hemorrhagics anti that's going to stop the bleeding with the bandage it's bloody blood everywhere he's going to have to go up and have his craniotomy so let's follow Brooke did I, did I say his? sorry I meant her ok so what's happening with Brooke yet yeah, so let's get you up for your craniotomy um, I don't think there's any surgeons in yet but hopefully as soon as those surgeons are in you can go straight into surgery so you have a CSF leak, yes, so your cerebral spinal fluid. So you're going to have to have your, your craniotomy pretty soon. Um, surgeons will be in, are they in now? No, they're coming at about 8 o'clock, don't they? Or is it 9 o'clock? Hmm. Um, yes, yeah, so I need you guys here. Well, here they are, so hopefully they can go straight to surgery. Yes, yeah, so they're in surgery now. So hopefully Brooke will get sorted out. So we've got a whopping expected 59 patients coming into the department. Well, not the department, the hospital in general today. So hopefully we can get this objective done. Treat 45 patients per day. And then we can start moving on to the next objectives. Um, so at the minute we're getting a lot of people coming into the hospital. But we really need to bump up our money here. So what I thought we could do is because of this expected high number of patients is we could get an, one more doctor's office. So if we prefab this one here, we're going to put it um, just there. Get rid of the windows. Do a bit of painting on that wall there. And hopefully we have plenty of capacity to deal with, to deal with today, which looks like it's going to be a busy day. So we just got our objective that we've done in the night meant that we got um, the reward of our next intern being great for hire. So let's let's hire James Lewis because he's an intern. He works more efficiently during the day and it should be that he's great for hire. Just need a bit more painting on that back wall. Okay, then hopefully that's enough doctors to deal with our capacity. And what I thought we could do is wall off emergency again. Um, yeah, do something like that. And then get some double doors. Either side, let's get corridor, needs to be that corridor. Then you are all this one. Awesome. So there we go. And then we can change this floor back maybe to... I want to do this around the outside. Let's have a look that this and then that in the middle yeah okay I like that okay so this is our new radiology department which I'm really happy with over here so really happy with how this turned out over here our radiology department that's next to our ICU and then we've got in a bunch more people in our lab didn't we cool so this is the start of the influx of people um, they are all going around this way. So would it help if I just get rid of that wall there? Because they can walk through there. I don't know why they don't. Um, I need to get rid of those radiology signs because that's no longer that. Yeah, so I think a few more people are walking through there now. Okay, so we've got a very quiet trauma centre. We obviously had Brooke, so let's go and check up on Brooke. So, hello, thank you. 
Um, so yeah, she's doing much better now. So she's hospitalised, waiting for a, a free examination room, which I assume is that one. Oh, she's collapsing now. Right, so we need another one of those. So let's prefab that. Um, and then get that in down here. Maybe at the end of this corridor. So if we do something like that brick wall brick wall get rid of that one and then prefab that room oh no that did not do what i wanted it to do prefab the whole of the room and then bring that down here please like so um, and then we'll just extend that corridor down to there so we've got another one of these if we need it so Brooke, what's happening with Brooke? She's going to a coma, oh dear, so she needs to go on life support. Is that being done? Life support. I assume she's going down to ICU, isn't she? Yeah. So let's, okay. Um, so there's a doctor in there now with her, sorting her out. So hopefully Brooke will be okay. Uh, so it's quite quiet a minute, so we could get, oh yeah, problem is, oh hello, Thomas Scott's now a fellow, awesome, well done Thomas. So the problem is, is if we do do the free ambulances, we will get a new objective, which is great because it means that our, our new objective could be a, it could be a money one, but we're going to have to spend £60,000 buying the new ambulances. Um, so I'm not sure what to do with that. I have to take out even more of a loan. It's already pretty hefty. So I think I'm just gonna do a lot of sort of micromanagement. Um, so we can go around and we have a look at everyone. Um, and hopefully in that time we just build up a load of more money. So emergency. So let's uh, just let's just try and treat some patients so here we've got Carol she's got a chest contusion which needs no ointment which has been done so Carol's treated we've got Frank here oh god you might have lupus or COPD so you are gonna have to go for physical examination and then maybe an oral cavity nasal cavity um, is that gonna provide any you got you got the cold wow okay so get out of my hospital and go and get some rest so over here we've got Nancy he's got scoliosis which needs exercise which is being done um, have some okay you're going yeah you're going That's another patient done Susan he's got a few things going on with her um, so let's go for that one and maybe nasal and oral inspection. You've got tonsillitis, which is rest. Um, okay, so we're getting through the patients here. Um, oh, Brooks, oh, she's collapsing again. Uh, so she's got tachycardia again, anti-arrhythmatics. She's having, she's also going to coma. So she just needs constant care at the minute. Have we got enough staff? So two nurses here. And oh, we've got two doctors, yes, yeah, so that's plenty. So hopefully Brooke really improves. Mm, I hope so anyway. So MRI's been used a lot. Oh dear, Elizabeth's got her uh, lovely chest out. Um, so hopefully that's going well. Labs look good. It looks like we've got enough people in here. Fraser can't be treated because he can't have IV antibiotics. Why not? Okay. Check free beds or try a higher priority hospitalization. Okay, so maybe if we send you to ICU. I can't. But emergency. Oh. Why can't I give you IV antibiotics? That seems strange. Oh, busy up here. 
Okay, we're gonna have to go home because you've just taken up one of my rooms, so sorry. I've got loads of patients here, so we're definitely gonna need um, a couple more rooms. Okay, I'm gonna some. Oh, where am I gonna put these? Um, so let's go. Oh, so far away, though, isn't it? Um, okay, so let's foundation all of this, and then we'll have to do some rejigging. So do that. It's going to cost some money, but treating patients is the only way we're going to make money. So, so are these patients on the ward? Yeah. So ah, I know why. It's because there's no beds in here. So more beds. Let's get that out there. There. And one more at the end. Because then what we can do? We'll just get rid of. That wall just there, um, and then we can make. Or actually, let's get rid of that wall, and then that can have a bit more space there. So let's get out the purple tiles. Oh no, they're not the right ones. Those there, and then this is the normal purple floor. I'm gonna have to make that into the corridor, just like that. Okay, so we need more. The thing is, though, is okay. So you are going to be moved over here. Um, nice to get a little corridor on there, really, wouldn't it? So what if we moved? we wait for this person to get out of there. So if we done foundation... Oh no, that's the wrong floor. So we done foundations there. Oh, which buggers up that a little bit. Um, yeah, okay, that's cool. And down here We'll just change that to those. No, I don't want to extend the room. Why is that? That shouldn't be a room. Oh, I think it's just spilling over, is it? Okay. Okay, so then upstairs. Let's get in some... Oh, I need a foundation first. Then we can get in the walls. Downstairs I'm going to put in the walls, that's just going to look silly isn't it? And then this bathroom, the staff bathroom, can then just move to there. Um, now what we can do is just get rid of that. Get rid of the walls in there. And there. Um, that room gets deleted. This becomes a corridor. Um, I don't really like these here. Oh, so much money to be spent. Um, so let's copy you. So you go in the corner. So then you can go. You can go. We can get rid of the walls, like so, uh, delete the rooms, this all becomes corridor, like that, this turns back to being the purple wall, a uh, light purple floor, Oh, I ran out of money. Oh, this bank's loving me. How much interest are we bloody paying? Okay, a bit more there. So I think we do need two of these. So what I'm going to do 
Let's get uh, one more in there. Okay, so that's a nice sort of cut through there. Um, that's no longer a toilet. So, um, and what I was going to do is get a couple more doctor's offices. Oh. Let's just do it. We should earn the money back through treating the patients. So I'm not too worried about the money situation at the minute. So let's get two more over there. Um, it's got a nice big space over here. Uh, extend the corridor and then at the back there we'll just repaint that wall. Just in there. Okay, and I get some more doctors. So let's get in. Daniel, you're quite cheap. And Judy, because we need to be cheap and cheerful at the minute. Waiting rooms, so let's make that into a waiting room. And then we can get in some benches. What colour benches are we using? The blue ones? Are they those? Yeah, Not the purpley colour ones. Let's go there, there. Do something oh, like that. Vending machine. We can get a water. Oh no, God. Get rid of those two. Get in the um, water dispenser. Get in the key machine and a TV. Really? Eight? Hmm. Um, get rid of that. And that. There we go. So that's going to cost us a, but a load of money, but it should mean that more patients come over here to see their doctors, which hopefully will free up more of the rooms over here. So is that working? What I can do is over here we have Judy. So if we change you to Judy, and you should go over there. Hopefully. Hmm. Who are you waiting for? Jane. Oh no, why can't you go for Daniel? Can you should just pop in there, shouldn't you? Why are you not just going in then? Um, you go for them, Riley, sir. So. Oh, Brooke's collapsing again. This should be okay. They should look after that. So why? Oh no, yeah, she's been treated to a different. She's going to a different hospital, which to be honest is probably best. So why is no one coming over here? That's what I can't work out. Oh, objective complete, which is to treat forty-five patients, which is awesome. So I do 50 patients, prestige bonus, which would be great. Please start coming over here to see these doctors. Mm, that's not a great sign, is it? Is it because... Okay, so I think I need to come over here, don't I? So get rid of that room, because then you are going to move over here, like so. Then, oh, what are you missing? No, I want you to be a neurology office. These are neurology offices, aren't they? Yeah. Because then I can. Um, oh. Employee has no workspace. Sign workspace there. Um, you can go in. Would it fit in there? Because I don't know if it's just that they're just too far away. No. Um, 
Okay, well... Hmm... Um... What we could do... So people are now going to Daniel? Where is he? Oh. Jane Young. Where are you, Jane? Oh, why are you downstairs? Go to Daniel. Are you going to go? I don't understand why. Oh, she's leaving. She's gone. So I hope that patients can start coming over here tomorrow. Uh, so let's get one more doctor in. So let's get in Jordan. And hopefully tomorrow, because it's a new day, I hope that patients will start coming over there. Um, so we've got another objective done, which is great. So I hope that we've got another money one. No. Okay, well, we have to see how that goes. Um, so let's... We've just gone fast forward, so we missed six patients, yeah. So obviously Brooke went to the other hospital because she just kept, she just kept um, collapsing. And we could not get her to improve, so that's why she went to another hospital. And all of these look all neurologists, so they were all waiting to see doctors. So hopefully this has increased our capacity. So they are, yeah, neurology office. Okay, so we'll see how that goes. So Richard Tyler is collapsing. He is in our HCU. He's got concussions and he's analgesics. So he needs emergency care. Let's give him all of that. Hopefully he's going to ICU now. We're hopefully we can get him on some life support. So let's follow Richard. Okay, yeah, so hopefully now the ICU team will look after him and hopefully he'll get better. So let's trudge on through the night. And what we'll do is we'll stick around and we'll just see if those extra officers that I've placed in neurology, we can just just check that they are ha that they have actually increased the capacity of our department. So Jordan Miller here is also collapsing. So he's got meningitis, so he needs um, IV infusion and rest. So ICU is actually getting fairly full, really. Um, or is that 100% capacity? So we're going to need at least one more bed. We're obviously spending a hell of a lot of money. So yesterday, yeah. So a lot of us oh, yeah and building was expensive as well so we can get that um we can get our loan interest down then this should improve uh, you know it should improve really but it's just getting the money to be able to to bring the budget down bring the the loan down so we're not paying so much interest today okay so let's crack on till morning and we'll just like i said we'll just check that these these rooms here and this one here is actually going to increase our capacity because now we are expecting 58 patients to come to our hospital tomorrow. So that is the highest number yet. So that's a lot of people. I'm confident that we can treat them all. I'm, I'm pretty confident we can sort of get most of them out of the door. Um, so let's wait until they come in for work. They should be in here soon. Here we go. So we can just check that these are working. Um, so no one's really here yet. Patients are just coming into the hospital now. So I assume that they will use these rooms first and that they'll use these rooms only if they have to, I assume. Um, Margaret. 
you have all your visual tests, Margaret, and then we'll see how you're doing. Margaret's leveled up, she's now a nurse specialist, which is awesome. Um, where are you, Margaret? You are a receptionist, that's awesome. Okay, so. I've hospitalised before surgery. Um, let's go regular. Don't know why. That needs to be a notification. She's going to be going into surgery soon. Um, oh no, using these rooms. Awesome. So that means that we can hopefully get a load of more patients out of this department now. Because they're using these rooms as well over here. So we've always, always treated 20 patients and it's just 11 o'clock. Awesome. So Mary Gonzalez, you have those two and hopefully that will let us know what's wrong with you. Okay guys, so I'm going to leave that here today. I hope you enjoyed the episode and I'll see you next time. See you later. If you like the video, please give it a like, subscribe to the channel, post a comment down below and please follow me on Facebook and Twitter to keep updated. See you later.